What is up? It's your boy Zio, bro. Today, look, 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 don't worry about the TV, bro. We're going to have the game on next time and the bed all messy and shit. I don't give a fuck. It's 4 a.m., bro. Today, bro, we're going to be talking about the one and only Comethazine, a.k.a. I guess Frank Cole now, a.k.a. really just as Jimi Hendrix. But fuck it, nigga look like Kid Cudi from the X movie. But hey, that's not even that's not even the point of this video. The point of this video is to talk about Comethazine and his comeback. So let's get into it. I wasn't even talking to the mic, was I? Bah. So in the past day, bro, Comethazine finally came back to Instagram after his months in my months. Wait, bro, I ain't gonna lie. It's been some years since Comethazine been on the scene, bro. I don't think this nigga's dropped since 2022, bro. And I genuinely can't even remember the last name of his album, bro. What the fuck? This nigga hasn't dropped in two years? Last time, bro, dropped, I was waking up at 6.30 a.m. Hating my life while getting ready for school just to be around people I don't fucking like for eight hours. And now I wake up at 4 p.m. and I get ready for my bitch ass job and be around people I don't like for eight hours. So, wow, I've really grown up with this man, Comethazine, bro. In all that time being gone, bro, I literally graduated from school and now I'm literally an, a living adult, just adulting in life, bro. And it's so crazy that Comethazine was on Double XL 2019, bro. I don't know if people remember, but this nigga was on Double XL 2019 and he was the face of SoundCloud at the time. Not the face, but I definitely want to say one of the faces that when you look at him, you automatically think of fucking SoundCloud. He had all of this going on just for him to disappear and have these rap channels turn into Amber Alerts, basically spewing out information every couple months just about where's Comethazine, Comethazine disappearance. You would have thought this nigga was a lost six year old at a carnival who got fucking separated from his parents the way they kept talking about where's Comethazine type shit like bro's a grown ass man he probably just doing his own shit and I don't know if I give Comethazine leeway because I've been here for a while bro since my cop a jag since this nigga had colorful hair since he was skateboarding this bitch his infatuation with Demi Lovato like bro I've been here since the smoke per beef with biting Comethazine and the old trap star copying and pasting cheating off of the cheat sheet and changing some answers just so it didn't look like bro got a hundred nigga literally took his song and did the jujitsu with that shit and made it his rbo trap star by the way rest in peace game i'm back bro i had to take a little break to get my high down but bro do y'all even remember 556 snippet bro when Comethazine first previewed 556 bro that shit was so fucking hard at that time bro y'all do not understand and i don't even think y'all are old enough to understand bro Comethazine had real ass fans as hard as it is to believe bro he had a real solid fan base and he was dropping hit after a fucking hit especially when he went on his hit run with cole bennett bro that nigga was unfuckable unfuck with a bull from 2019 for real to 2021 i don't give a fuck what anyone say bro bro was running those three years and even to this day, bro, he still has over 2 million monthly listeners, bro. And 1.5 million followers on Instagram. And the two posts he just posted, well, yesterday, they have over 100,000 likes. So he still has people who are seeing his shit and looking at his shit. Me personally, I ain't even gonna lie, bro. I'm a fake ass nigga. I've been unfollowed and all that because I was like, why am I gonna follow an inactive nigga like it makes no sense but i'm real glad that he's back now bro doing this shit because like even though comethazine did have a stint where he was literally just dropping the same fucking shit and i ain't gonna lie bro even in his prime he was really just dropping the same shit i ain't gonna lie but it was so hard that you could just look past it bro it was kind of a young boy effect where it's the same shit 
regurgitated at me but in different ways bro so it just hits different each time it's just so good bro and now i'll never that shit was weak that shit was weak too i'll never forget about his bosky mixtape run bro the three peter bosque one two through three bro that shit was so tough to me bro you know one thing though i never understood about Komet the zine was why did he all of a sudden become a street nigga like where did the meme of comethazine being this unpenetrable force like he is the strictest of street nigga the streetiest street nigga out there like unfuckwittable bro like i was saying it's like he's a f he's fable he's a myth He's a man of legend type shit, like, bro, it's, it's Kometazine. But outside of that, bro, I'm happy Kometazine back on some real shit. And it looks like he's finally about to diverse his sound, which I know a lot of his fans have been waiting for. Nigga, I've been waiting for this shit this whole time, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro, because Kometazine did used to switch it up back then, bro. If y'all go back and look... Kometazine used to be on his versatile shit and then he just put his whole foot into the street shit door and just kept it there but I'm here for the new Kometazine the the fucking what is this nigga name again that he called himself Frank Cole I'm here for the era bro the Frank, the Frank Cole arc I'm here for it y'all let me know what y'all feel in the comments bro I am signing out. I'm signing out now. Y'all have a great day. I love y'all. Peace out, soldier out. <gasps>